Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So before we get started guys, if you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button and that like button as always helps on journey to 30,000 subscribers as we're getting nearer and nearer by the day. Really, really appreciate all of your support. But with that all said and done, let's get into this. So the first system we got here um, that we're checking out is Nick118 system called the Salo system. So without further ado... Let's go ahead and see what he has prepared for us here. So, should be in the subscribe list here. Let's have a look near the bottom. There it is. Excellent. So, here we go. Right. Draw bits. Oh, okay. So, the Salo system. Welcome to the Salo system. A system with eight confirmed planets and one unknown planet. There's some dwarf planets to visit along with all planets and moons. There's also two asteroids and one moon with a comet to visit also. The system is similar to the solar system. Okay. Right, so. First of the planets, we got Sumeri. <laughs> I guess that's a take on Mercury. Um, so, a hot rock, 134 degrees. Pretty bog standard, as we can see. Okay, moving on. Next up, we got um, Oraga. Or Aga. So this is obviously a Venus clone as well. Look, uh, yeah, okay. Cool. It's very thick atmosphere there. Okay, next up, I'm assuming it's an Earth like world here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, got quite an ocean heavy world here. 14 degrees. Nice stats there, I'm assuming. Yep, yeah, very, very high stats. Looking good. Okay. It's also got a moon called Poon. <laughs> It's having an eclipse right now. Look, it's right behind the parent planet. Then it also has a second moon over here called Edor. Okay. Looking cool. Nice. Okay, so next up, I'm assuming we got a Mars like world. Is it red? It is red. <laughs> okay, so minus 30 degrees here, as we can see. Very Mars like with the polar caps at the north and south as well. Okay. And it's also got all of these here. So we've got three asteroid moons to go with them as well. Cool, cool. We also have this world here, a random asteroid in the orbits of the inner system there. And it's also some sort of comet orbit. Look, we can see all the way out here. That is a very crazy comet. But this comet here goes all the way into the inner solar system, as we can see if its orbit here it goes past the Earth orbit uh, into the Venus area orbit here, by the looks of it, in the Venus-like planet orbit. Okay. Next up, we got, um, I'm assuming these are asteroid belt objects. And then we've got a dwarf planet here. I'm guessing this would be like a series equivalent. Also has a moon as well. Okay. Cool. And Edor. Okay, another dwarf planet as well. Cool, cool. Nice. And it also has a moon. Cool. Alright, moving on. So I'm guessing got tools here is a jupiter light world so it's bigger than jupiter as well has a lot of moons i can see one called lactern in the back as well i wonder what that's a take on <laughs> so here's some moons here okay so here's the moons anything interesting to check out there's your europa your ganymede and then your callisto yeah you can definitely see the the, the similarities between those so that's io the yellowy one. You've got Europa's the white one. Ganymede's the light brown. And Callisto's the darker brown. The black. So, pretty cool. And then we've got a bunch of just asteroids out here as well. Okay. Cool. Right, now we're moving on to Lactern over here. Cool. Here it is. So, a Saturn like world with no rings. It's also got some other worlds. Now, is there a Titan like planet? Uh, there must be. There's got to be. Fitan, is this it? There it is, there's your Titan. Hey, nice. So the cold, cold world. There you go. Alrighty, there it is. Cool. We've got order. It's kind of in, like, I kind of want to make my own take on the solar system as well now. So just looking at this, you know, actually like re make the solar system as we know it, but have everything slightly different. You know, different names, different appearances to the objects. It could be quite interesting actually. Did you guys want to see that? Let me know. It could be quite an interesting system to make. 
We've got Protoss here. So this is our Uranus. And it literally looks exactly like Uranus as well. Oh my god. That one is very close to a Uranus appearance. Okay. It's not tilted on its side, if you notice, as well. Look, the moons are not um, rotated. That is a very exotic moon. What is it tilted on its side? I know it is, but the moon's orbits are not uh, inclined. Okay. Then we've got Hoptune over here. So, obviously, I know what this is based off. So, a very, very deep blue. Looking good. It's got only two moons. Okay. Very extreme purple one there. I'm guessing that would represent Triton. Okay. Then moving out, we've got Pluto. There's your Pluto of the system. Okay. Cool, cool. Tuster. <laughs> I like that name. That's very close to Pluto as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that green. That's a nice shade of green there. Cool. You know, we've got a few more moons as well to go with him. Nice. Yeah, I'm taking a big jump out. I'm assuming the rest of these are all just asteroids or wolf planets. So. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, you said there was one hidden planet, so I'm guessing that's like a Planet 9 sort of thing. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, maybe it's this object here. Oh, the unknown ninth planet. Okay, so what is this? Planet 9. Hey. Obviously, complete darkness here. Very far away. Mega year. Yeah, it's over a thousand AU out. So, whew, really dark stuff. So that is on the edge of it. Oh, so a system like our own, but very different in some other ways. So, got the same sort of setup, but there you are. Okay. See, when you look at it from a distance, so it doesn't really come to eye as the solar system. Because the if you look at the distances between um, the Uranus and Neptune here. They're a lot closer than they should be. The Uranus should definitely be a lot closer to the star, I'd say. You can see um, this would be roughly be with the asteroid belt. Is there the inner four planets? The asteroid belt is here. There's Jupiter. The asteroid belt objects, I want to say, look a little further out than their own solar systems ones as well. So, yeah, it's different. It's not exactly like identical um, to our solar system in forms of design. Then you've got the Jupiter. Then you've got quite a big jump to the Saturn. So if we actually look at its distance here. Although that's the Uranus, actually. So the, the Jupiter is very close to the star. So this is... 4 AU, okay, that's roughly Jupiter. Saturn is 9 AU, okay, so they're roughly in line. Then the massive jump to Uranus here, Uranus is 25 AU, when normally it's only 19. So there's your difference. Is, yeah, you, the Uranus is a lot further out than the normal Uranus would be. And then the Neptune is a little further out as well, at 33 instead of about 30. So you can see the outer two gas giants are pushed out a lot more. And there's a massive gap between the Saturn and the Uranus. So an interesting design there. I like it. It's just a little twist on it. So it's not exactly like the solar system. So pretty cool. But yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to have a go at this myself, actually. You just have a system like our own system, but... Then it's very different in other ways, so it should be uh, should be quite interesting actually. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that. But again, a massive thank you to Nick for sending this system in. If you guys enjoyed it, press that like button. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. And yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.